If I could, then I would. I'll go wherever you will go. I love that song. Anyway, um, I've just woken up. Hello, everyone joining. I'm so glad that you're always so on it. You always just have your Jedward Spidey sense, and you just know when I'm going to do an Instagram live. And it must be really refreshing to know that we're like all live, wherever we all so happen to be in the world. You know, some places it's dark, some places it's snowing, some places it's like misty and foggy, and yeah, it's kind of cool wherever you go in the world. Imagine if you're making a movie and you're like, we need snow, let's go to Sweden, let's go to Finland, we gotta get that snow. We can't afford those expensive Hollywood effects. And who wants to play in soapy, soapy snow, what gets in your eyes and kills you? Anyway, um, I am rocking my glasses today. I really like these glasses, they're like, they're very like metal and they got like cool, yeah, I got a spot. Woke up a couple of spots this morning. I was like, hello. And um, I am coming live from a very uh, chill, very all men. I don't see any girls here. Oh, there's one girl over there. She's got a, she's got a, a bobbin in her hair and she's wearing a military slash Kanye West looking type hoodie. Anyway, um, hey Sasha. Thanks to everyone. Sasha, Demi, Tara, Angela, they all have Asby in the name, Charlie, hey Charlie, Nathan Hackett, how you doing, uh, Shannon, Kristen, so Edward was actually awake earlier than me this morning, he had to do so much things, like it's so weird, like you know when you're half asleep and he's talking about something, and you're like, you're taking it in, but then you wake up and go, was that a dream, and you're like, nah, it wasn't a dream, like you remember it, but then you're like, oh my god, like, he really had stuff to do, you know, so he was up earlier than me this morning, so... Yeah, it changes from time to time. Um, yeah, I didn't even get a drink today. Like, I haven't even drank a drink. Like, I've just been, like, you know, just swallowing my natural fluids and liquids in my mouth. You know, it's so refreshing. Mmm, my lips are dry as well, so. Mmm, no. Um, yeah. Well, fun fact, I went flying because of the ice. Well done, Melissa. I know, it's so crazy. You only go out to the ice and you're just like, nah, I'm not going to slip. Not today, not today. And you're just, you slip and you're just like, did anyone watch me? Did anyone see me? And you just, you feel so like, oh my God. Like, you know, do you ever see those clips in the news where it's like, hello everyone on RT News. And it's very slippery weather out there. And they, and they show clips of like random people falling. Like, I don't know, like, I feel like over the years, like maybe recently, like I'm able to laugh at, some sort of funny clips but still like even growing up I was I was always like you know I see people I'm like falling I'm like are they okay are they you know they're gonna be all right and um yeah so last night we went to our friend Tara's premiere for her film um it was crazy all her scenes were dope she was like fly she was fresh she was an art dealer and doing her thing and she wasn't getting involved in all the craziness but she did a great job and um yeah, a lot of interesting people, a lot of interesting conversations had. Um, so much people were like, um, just loving our jackets. Like they were just like, oh my god, where did you get? Like people were geeking out over our jackets. I felt like I was a, a gold comic book or something, but um, it was a good one. And um, it was so weird. Yesterday when we did this live stream, there was all these different people sitting around me, and I was just, I was letting all the, like there was some dude across the way from me, and he had like all this jewelry on, and I was letting him know that. Um, what did I say to him? I was like, ah, oh, thanks for being so understanding, you know. And he told me about this cool place to get jewellery in case I ever want to start wearing jewellery and wearing cool rings, you know, in case I want to boom, boom, boom. Oh no, so I'd never do that. But, um, yeah, it was crazy. I think I think on the bus, Tara was, um, it was, it was packed, like, and then Tara was like, John, edit it. I want you to sing a song right now, like on the spot. And it's like, whatever, sing wow, wow. And then we sang wow, wow. And everyone was like, wow, that was so good. And we were like, wow. Uh, and I was like, wow, oh, wow, 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 you know, giving all the energy, all yo, 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 and everyone was just clapping. I was just like, okay, thanks a lot, because everyone had been listening to loads of rap music, so it was a different, you know, it was a different vibe. Hey, Lisa, everyone's writing their names because they want a shout out. Where's Lisa? Lisa Haffy. Lisa, I just want to give you a big shout out, okay, honestly. I, I see all you do on Twitter, you know, standing up for us when people have things to say, and, and you, you let them know where our latest music is, you let, it, you let them know what we're doing or where we're where to find us at. I really appreciate that, Lisa. I just want to say thank you so much and I'm sure everyone else sees that and appreciates it. And thanks for, you know, replying to the most craziest of people, narrow-minded people who just don't see past their cup of tea. So thank you. Um, hey, Emma Boo. Emma, I thought it was Emma Boo. Oh, it's actually, yeah, okay, it's the exact same. Come back to South Shields, please. Thanks, Vanessa. 
Um, I'm sure we'll be back to South Shields very soon. The last time we were there, turning on the Christmas lights, it was, it was good, it was good. But today I'm rocking this, my, this is my favourite jacket, like this is a diesel leather jacket, like it's, it's kind of like a shirt, but it's not a shirt, it's like a proper jacket, and like, I just really like it, and it sits perfectly where you need to sit, like yesterday, remember I was telling you guys about the jeans I was wearing, it like sits perfectly over that part, but today I'm wearing Edward's skinny jeans, or actually my skinny jeans, but then he decided he wanted to wear them, so they kind of became more his skinny jeans, so I'm wearing them today, I'm wearing these really cool boots, let's see how flexible I am, if I can get them in the shot, you ready for this? Oh my god, boom, hold on, they're on the table, they're really fucking cool, oh shit, well, that was rude. I'm sure there's people are sitting around me right now going, what? Who does he think he is? What type of etiquette is that? Oh. Yeah, I don't think you guys really got the shot of them. They're a lot cooler than... Hold on. Hold on. They're way cool. I swear, you can't see how cool they are. They're really cool. they got buckles and shit. Look how cool they are. What? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God. I'm nearly the end of the live. I'm sorry, guys. Um, yeah, so... I'm sorry about that. That was a bit random. I actually am pretty flexible when I want to be. And um, let's see what this person says. I want your concert in 2012. And up here, you're a beaut... Okay, that's amazing. I got a picture with you and Edward, but I did... Aw. You got a picture with me, but you didn't get a picture with Edward. I know, some people get pictures with me and they're just like, eh, whatever. I don't get a picture with Edward. Um, okay, thank you. <laughs> what stuff? Spill the bean. Hmm, I don't know. God, there's so much comments. My comments aren't rolling down as fast as they should be. They should, because they, they kind of stop for a moment when I touch the screen. Like, it wants me to see what everyone's going to... Get us on call, dudes. Where's Edward? Just got my brand new phone t today. You're christening it S. I'm christening your phone and making it jettified, Sarah. What up, Jed? What up, Alana O'Reilly? Look at you, chilling. Oh, no. No, no, no. Are they? No way. Wow. But, um... What am I going to do? What am I going to get to eat today? Huh? Why don't I get myself some chicken? Like we do. Um, it's Nano's type of chicken. Oh, wow, your hair's unreal. Thank you, Jerry Kellett, who is a chef. Um, oh, hey, Mandy Moore. Miss you. Miss you, too. You always remind me of Britney Spears Toxic with your little hat you wear all the time. Oh, you swore there. You're so trouble. Oh, my God. I'm such a bold, bold person. Like, I'm like a 17-year-old. I'm actually 27. I meet people here, and they're like, oh, my God, man. Are you, like, 19 years old? Like, how old are you? And then, Maybe today I look my age, but not today. Are you chum 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 chum? I don't know what it means. Have you ever been to Australia? Yes, we've been to Australia. I think three times, twice, at least twice. We did sunrise. We did four tour dates there, so that was cool. Um, did some interviews. We were on the radio a couple of times. So yeah, we'll have to go back to Australia with new music, and they'll be like, "Yo, this is the shit." I know in the past everyone was like, "This song's a bop. That song's a bop." But our new songs will be like way cool. Um, let's see what I want to say. You're having a drink. I'm not having a drink. No drink today. Look at me. Look. Look at the smooth table. I'm making invisible pizzas. Pizza dough. You know when they get the pizza and they spin it around their finger and they do all that crazy stuff. That's the only reason why I'd learn. Go to Domino's. I'd go there just for like two or a few weeks to, to learn how to make pizzas. And then I'd just leave and say, so it wasn't really my calling. I just wanted to know how to do the job. And I can, I can do it in my own house. So, yeah. You should get lasagna. I had lasagna last night. I actually didn't pick lasagna. I had chicken. Massive portion. Like, literally. But, um... Someone gave me their lasagna eggplant. And that was really interesting. I tasted a bit of it. Then I was like, come on, John. I had some of someone's steak. I had chicken. I had someone else's chicken. Like, I was, like, literally, like... You remember the Teletubbies? Nunu? My little, little hoover that went around. It was, like, sucking up everything that I wanted to eat. I was really hungry yesterday. I did it. Just went for it. Are you a vegan? Um... No, but I don't know. I go, I go in that times of like eating, not eating. I don't, I don't, because since I used to do running, when you used to go running to running races, you wouldn't drink milk, you wouldn't have cheese, you wouldn't have any dairy products because it would make you um, very congested and you don't know, make it all. I don't know, I can't explain it, but it, it, you, you had a better race and a better run when you weren't eating dairy. So I'm not really, dairy and, and eggs and all sorts of things aren't really my go to thing. Like, I'm not like, oh my god. Get me some cheese as soon as possible. Get me the grapes. And we're going to eat all sorts of weird cheese creaminess and blah, you know. But I don't mind people who eat cheese. You know, like, I think the only good thing about cheese is melting it. If it's not melting, then what's the point? Like, the whole point is melting it and, like, stretching it out of your burger. You know, like, you know, when you, like, pull cheese and it's all stretchy and slimy and all, uh, you know. But sometimes cheese can be a bit too stretchy. Sometimes, do you ever notice, like, one time, I think I was in New York and I had a pizza. And the cheese was so stretchy. I remember swallowing a bit of the cheese. And the cheese was still connected to the piece that I was eating, and I just could, I could literally pull the cheese back up my neck. It was very weird. It was. The Golden Years is my favorite song. Thank you, Grace O'Grady. 
That's nice because you got G's in your name and it's called the Golden Years. I really like the Golden Years. Like I think it's got like a nice big strong vibe and I remember back in the day talking about the Killers. Like the Killers inspired that song. And um, yeah, I really like the epicness in this and the grandness of it. And it's an old song, but I can't wait to sing it live in concert and get all the lighters and get all the... You know, like just wishing for the good times. I feel like it could be a New Year's Eve song, you know, being hopeful for the new year. Yeah. But anyway, um, I think it was weird because I, 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 I know I won't get to see these chats back, but it's different watching them live. Maybe I should just delete them straight after so the people that missed it don't ever get to see it. Or the people that decided, like, hey, I'm just going to watch Grey's Anatomy or watch the new Riverdale episode and not bother watching John's live Instagram. They'll miss out and they'll be like, I should have tuned in. Anyway, I'm, I'm doing nothing special. I'm just talking. I feel much better today because i got earphones, so I'm sure it's the sound quality better than yesterday. Can I get some feedback, people? Hmm? What do we think? No, no feedback? I hope everyone's chilling in a nice, cosy little area, doing their thing. The dang, the dang, the dang, the dang, the dang, the dang, the dang. So, um, it was so funny. I was on, you know, I was on Snapchat, and um, this girl was like the other day going, um, ah, Jesus, is getting a joke now. Could you ever post a post already? And then it was like, what did I post? I posted my video yesterday of Lily Allen. I love that song. Well, I knew it, but I didn't know the words for so for like ten seconds before I did it. I just listened to it once and twice, and then I had some. Cra- I don't where I go here. The crazy mofo is coming up to me, going, "Oh my god, I can see you. I want you in my movie. I want you in my program. You, you, your Taylor, your your Martin, your this and that. Say this, say that. Oh my god, here's my number. I got an IMDb. Oh my god, who are you? Oh my god, Jesus, you know. It's like it's okay, man. I, I do what I do. I'm I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, no, seriously, like it's it's so good to. It's so good to know that, like, you know, we've all been through so much together and we've known each other for years. Like, you know that thing on Twitter where, like, if you if you can't handle me at my, then you can't have me at my yo, you know? So, like, I feel like we all were there for each other when, you know, um, most of us didn't really have any friends. So, um, now we all, like, have a few friends, you know? Well, I have friends anyway here and there, but, um, you know what I mean? Like, and then now some people, you know, people nowadays, everyone has their eyebrows and they're this and that, but now, back in the day, we all gave each other a chance even if we had the spots and we all were rocking all sorts of fashion statements I think that's nice that you know that we all care about each other and, and like certain things that we say sometimes I feel like I don't know it's good that we've all grown up together but I know some people were like oh John you never age or anything it's because I think it's because we just put highlights in our hair and stay true to ourselves so it's not like we're trying out it's not like one day I'm rocking braids or one day I decide I want to grow a unicorn horn you know so it's like, yo, it's, it's, I don't, you know, I don't know what I'm saying. Um, you can count on me like one, two, three. I love that song. I love Bruno Mars. I think he's done really, really well for himself. He's such a good guy, man. He's just, he's doing his thing. You know? he's just... Look at this guy in the blue here. He's walking on a little hat. Or... Look at these people. Look at this guy here. What should we call him? Jimmy. Jimmy, Paul. Ringo. Okay, Jimmy wasn't in the Beatles, so I don't know what I'm talking about Jimmy. I would start saying random names. Who else we got? We got Pedro. Okay, he's he's sorting out his bills. <laughs> um, uh, it's all good. I have uh, my Wi-Fi good. Can everyone see me? We're all good HD. Like, is everything? Look at my hair. You could surf it if you wanted to. I love these glasses. Like, literally, I pick these glasses up for such a good deal. A deal that you wouldn't even know. Then I went on the website and they still cost two hundred and sixty dollars. Whoa. Could you imagine paying $260 for these glasses? They're like special edition, and they say they've really got loads of cool stuff written on the inside. They're really high-quality high glasses. And they're not Dior. They're not like those... You know when you go to Italy, it's like, oh, my God, you know? Loads of different things popping and locking. But, um, yeah, how's everyone getting on? What time is it now? Can someone tell me the, na- the time in your time zone so you all don't miss out on a certain type of show and you can all write Jedward, Jedward, Jedward this, Jedward that and actually have an opinion on what's happening so we don't let all the trolls clog our timeline with crap. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, um, don't worry about it. It's all good. Um, oh, thanks for everyone for watching anyway. Um, I'm sh- I didn't even plan doing this. I planned on just like, you know, going to get some drink. I was like, oh, it's, it's only like six o'clock in the time zone. So I might as well call and say, how you doing? Do 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 do. You know what I mean. Anyway, um, yeah. 
perfectly frozen and barely firm. And yes, congratulations. I hope you're doing quite well. Thank you. Hi. Hey, Emily. Hi. How are you hey. getting on in your room? You're looking, you got, you're rocking a new hair color. Yeah. You look like Jared Way, you know, in his solo project, The Hesitant Alien. Give us a room home. tour. Give us a, let's see those posters um, on your wall. Okay, we got a Jared post. We got, oh, Jared, what? That's what I'm talking about. What, 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 what? Amazing. Thank I you. I just came out from college. You just came home from college? How'd it go? Yeah. Was it a good day? Was it a normal day? Was it a typical day? Um, was it a cold day? It was a what? We are setting up for a play. Okay. What's the play no, called? I, um, no Macbeth. Who? Macbeth. Oh, Thank Macbeth. You. Oh. Yeah. Macbeth. To be yeah, or not so. to be. That's not the one, but that's William Shakespeare. Um, yeah. And what, so what got, are you doing in it? Um, your, I got sound. So oh, you fun. got sound. Nice. No. I met a guy I'm yesterday who had super, super long hair and he did the sound of the movie and he was really cool. And he was, I was saying, if we ever did like the short movie sound segments in our videos, I'll get you. And he was like, yeah, man. He was like, well, had this big long hair and he was, he was a cool guy. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like, I'm like so stressed out. It's fun. Just like as soon as I see the sound boy, I'm just like, ah. Oh, you'll be fine. Like, you'll be fine. I'm sure you can ease into it. And... Yeah, like my fine with life. Is when, is it? when is it? When is it? Um, it's in like two, two, two weeks. Two weeks. You're gonna be okay. You're, you're all right. Like it's stage performance. You're just getting the sound so everyone can hear them, and yeah. I'm sure they'll be projecting their voices anyway. <laughs> if not, then they'll have to talk louder. Well, what? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. If there's no sound, they'll have to talk louder. You know, I watched recently because I went to see Les Misrabla with with Nick Jonas and like at that time way back in the day. And like at the time, I think oh. they had little microphones, but then when it came to like the O2, they had like the whole sound down to a T and they were rocking it, you know? So that was yeah. like crazy to try to project that and get it right. You know, when you're doing like live DVDs or live recordings for, you know, DVDs like Britney yeah. Spears Live in Vegas, or Justin Timberlake, like, like the yeah. sound has to be on it. Or if it's not, then you just go back in the studio and record it yeah. live. <laughs> um, record it. <laughs> what are you wearing? Are you wearing, I got this Harry Potter pajamas. Are they Harry Potter pajamas? Yeah, I'm going to. Um... Harry Potter World in London next month. Ooh, wow. Yeah. I want to go there. I've never been to Harry Potter, Harry Potter land. Who are you going with? Are you going by yourself? Are you going with two your friends or family? Um, I'm going, going with my friends from college. Oh, wow. Check you out having friends. I said the Jed fan. What, 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 what? I want to <laughs> That's cool. Well, send us pictures, yeah? Get the pictures yeah. sent this way. Anyway, you Thank enjoy yourself you. with the sound and... You can drop us a DM or anything, and you, you, you're going to do a good job at this. Oh, good. I'll keep you updated. You keep you updated. Updates all the way, Emily. Anyway, um, wow. I've got no filter on today. All I have is glasses. These are real glasses. Let's see what we can rock. That's going to... Is there any filter options? Is this option? What the fuck is that? Oh, oh, another pair of glasses over another pair of glasses. How weird is that? That's kind of weird. The beauty... Ooh, hello there. Hello. Oh. Uh, I need to clean my teeth. Anyway, what can you do? It's Valentine's Day in less than a month. Ooh, oh my God, it's Valentine's Day. I hope I have someone who loves me. <laughs> oh my God, it's so emotional. As if it's all good. Don't be worried about these type of things. You know, like on New Year's, everyone's like, it's so weird, because you know when you hang out with people on New Year's, girls, or whatever, it's like, no, we're not going to be kissing. We're not, we don't need to go there. It's okay. We don't need to be stereotypical, like, you know. You know, people think, oh, my God, it's, it's we really need to go there. It's like, no, it's okay. We don't need to go there. <laughs> it's nice to go there, but sometimes you're just like, nah, it's cool. We cool. We aight. We aight. Um, this is the best ever. Thank you. I love you to do to do. Um, what do you think of BTS? I like BTS. I like the way um, everyone has their own different personalities. I like Big Bang a lot more because... You had G-Dragon, Taeyang, all of them, and they all had very solid opinions and characters in the group. And I feel they made such an impact even before mainstream media in the world even gave K-pop a chance. But I'm sure when they come back, they'll be popping and locking. Um, I like Shiny, they're cool. I like 21. I haven't really actually committed to any new bands. I think Winner, they're a new band. They were performing in Hollywood Palladium. And I was like, will we go edit? And he was like, nah. And I was like, all right. And 
in love with it. And who knows, maybe we should give some of the new K-pop music a chance. I know it's just nicer when you go to actual Tokyo and you know, you, you listen, you're actually there to experience for all that it is. And you get to see the, 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 you know, the, the bigness of it all. And um, yeah, I have to go back to Tokyo and see what magazines I can read, what little previews and stuff that are playing on the screens and give it a chance. Yeah, always good. My phone's spazzing out right now. I can't even touch the screen. Oh my God. Maybe it's the filter, no filter anymore. Oh shit, how do I get, oh my God. Everything's spazzing, oh no, oops. I can't do anything on it. Oh my God, hold on a sec. Oh, here we go, hold on. I'm trying to click on stuff, but it's not in me. Oh, there we go. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, okay, I can't, I can't guess people anymore. That's okay. Anyway, the comments. Hello, I'm finally out of work. How's life? Lisa Nunn, life's great. I hope you're doing great and you're rocking your your classic nun outfit, the pink nun get up. I'm gonna go see Gavin in LA next month. Oh my God, are you for real? <laughs> Ooh. What? All the way to LA for that? Okay, well, I'm sure you're going for other things. Maybe you should go for Backstreet Boys, or you should go for Justin Timberlake. Let's, let's, add, let's put Justin Timberlake in the pot. Let's put him in there so you get the most amazing show ever, because did you see that New Year's Eve performance? Mm, okay, that was fun. Mm, eh, it's all good. I'm only messing. No shade, just chilling. Anyway. Um, What's the last film you saw? The last film, I saw Mary Poppins. I saw the Kevin Hart film. I saw, I've seen every film that's out because in Ireland, everyone needs to appreciate it a lot more. Films are the cheapest place to go see. Ireland's the cheapest place. Like in LA, you can pay $25, $70, maybe early bird type stuff. You can see it for whatever, it's all good. I don't mind paying whatever. If it's a really good film I really wanna see. But in Ireland, you can go see as much movies as you want. You can get tickets like two for 10 euros, which is good deal, you know, why not? Oh, and in the UK, you got OG Limitless and you got like Cineworld Limitless. Like I was actually in a sale the other day and I was telling this dude, like you can go see infinite movies for 20 euros a month. And it was like, I told him like the best thing in the world. He was like, whoa, that's crazy, no way. And I was like, yeah, and he was like, yeah. And we were like, yeah, and that was it. And it was all good. So what time is it right now in Ireland, in the UK? What are we dealing? Um, can you come to my house so I can finally have a jet pick? It's been years. Hey, Rosie. I'm legit on verge of dying. Melissa, you gotta hang in there. You gotta get some water. You're gonna be good. Me and Jack are moving together in a few months. Can't, I can't wait. So happy for you, Anna, slash Annabelle, slash Anna, who's standing up for us on Twitter, having some nice things to say. Really appreciate that, Anna. I'm in France. Molly, what time is it in France? It's different time zones, it's like an hour difference. Guess me, please. I'm in Les. Let's see, what do you think about Blackpink? I love Blackpink. <laughs> Edda the other day was saying um, the best thing about Blackpink songs when they say Blackpink. Blackpink! Yeah, I know that song. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love Blackpink. Actually, out of all the K pop stuff, I love Blackpink. Like, I need to give them even more of a chance. Like, know all their songs. Like, I know their singles. Yeah, they got loads of cool attitude. Um, hit me up, read in the comments. Hey, Bethany Faith Moore 13. What's your opinion on Mary Poppins, the remake? It's kind of weird because I saw Mary Poppins back in the day. And I love Demi Lee Blunt. Oh God, what's with the lighting? Oh my God, shit. Oh God, I've turned one in. Oh, there we go. Look at this. Hmm. It's a good angle, I like this angle. So, I liked it, I thought it was fresh. I thought for people, I don't really know, I don't know, like I felt like the songs were the old songs when I was watching it and I realized there were new songs. I was like, if they're new songs, then they should have got me on board to like the songs. We would have had a whole other level of songs. Look at his hand. Whoop, whoop. Lifting you up all the time, look at this guy here. Look. Meow, meow. Anyway, oh my God. So, let's see your tomorrow comments. Meeting the cast of Bohemian Rhapsody in the Stars for two weeks. Ah! I'm so excited for you, Rebecca. That's really, really cool. I love Rami in that film. I read an article. Mm, I wasn't on there. He's cool. I love him. I love the shot of him meeting Lady Gaga and everyone's like, ah. I'm so happy for him. I'm happy Lady Gaga's getting all the recognition she deserves. Like, come on. Lady Gaga being an awesome pop star. 
You've been an amazing firm. Are you going to come to Finland this year? Miss you so much. Hmm. I think I will come to Finland this year because they've got really good music festivals. I'd love to go again. I went to a flow festival. I saw Land of Ray. I saw Frank Ocean. I saw loads of cool people. And then I went to Weekend Festival and I saw like loads of cool EDM music just to get the vibe. And who knows, maybe one day we'll perform at one of these dope ass festivals. But for now, we're going to do our concerts, which are way cool. And we can perform for like up to two hours or however how long we want, sing whatever songs we want, and not worry about randomers in the audience going, oh, what are we doing here? I want to hear Under Pressure, Lipstick, you know? And they want people to appreciate all the songs. Remember Soundtrack Olympia when someone shouted, Will you marry me? That was me. Oh my god, really? Well, that was, that was good. That was nice. Rosie, I'm sorry that. Yeah. Um, will you do a concert in Dublin? <sighs> Who knows? We've done a lot of concerts in Dublin, and the UK have been waiting so long, and the UK is so dope and so cool. So maybe. I don't want to go on the light. Look at this light, so fucking weird. Oh my god. Can we find good light? Oh shit, there we go. Alright, oh my god, I'm still looking weird. Oh shit. Oh, there we go. When I wake up in the morning, the sunlight hurts my eyes. When I look at you, do 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 do, and I know it's gonna be. Love the day, love the day, love the day, just got paid, back it. So I was listening to some old NSYNC music recently. A song called Together Again. It sounded like E17. I think I heard it a while ago, but. I hadn't listened to it in forever. And I was just like, oh, that's a nice song, you know? How can I say that I love you when you're so far away? I'm not really, it's just that type of song. It's very like uh, stretched out notes. And anyway, it's all good. Oh my God, what is going on? That guy's crazy. He was out the front saying some guy, I think, to these two dudes, and I was like, oh my god, what is this guy at? <sighs> oh, I don't even know. Actually, that's a different guy. Hmm. Yes, NSYNC is always going to be the best. Well, I like NSYNC, and I do, but Backstreet Boys, like, I know if I would say Backstreet Boys ends up, but Backstreet Boys have been consistently been a boy band for years. They weren't just a boy band. I know NSYNC were together for a bit, but you got to keep going. you got to keep rocking. So, you know? Um... Yeah, Backstreet Boys definitely are the best boy band. And like, I'm just saying it. Like, I love Gone. I love like loads of the music. But Backstreet Boys, even when Kevin left for a bit, he kept going, kept rocking. And the new album, and they're both great, actually. They're both really, really good. Do you know the best boy band? Check my ass. Could you imagine if we decided we want to do crazy, you know, do all harmony boy band music and just kept rocking, like, always. Mm, I love Backstreet Boys. I love AJ. They're always very welcoming and nice. Friendly when I meet them. John, please don't shut up for me and my fiance Abby. Hey, Danny B. Oh, congratulations. Look at you, bro. Giving out all the love. Now you're getting engaged. Went to years and years last night in the year. Olympia with Tara. Oh, so that's why you were in Dublin. Okay. I see how it is. I see how it is, girl. You do your thing. You're going to see years and years. Um, yeah, he's cool. Ollie's cool. Can I? Hmm. What do do? What's your favorite Pokemon, John? I was actually gonna wear. I've got an amazing Pokemon tank top, which is weird. It's like Japan LA. It's really, really cool. It looks like a Space Jam jersey, but it's not. Um, my favorite Pokemon. My favorite Pokemon are the first 150 Pokemon. I like. I like. I like. Um, I'm so bad with names. It's the legendary dog Pokemon Entei, Rayco. I'm so. I'm. So, I never even got the proper names of these. Sukeen or Suki, that dog, that dog, okay? It literally reminds me of Fiji. Like, I love that Pokemon. Love the Pokemon. And it's so weird because I love Pokemon and I, I really do like it. But I'm not like on the same level as other people liking it. Like, I appreciate the cuteness and stuff, but like, Aragorn got an Eevee tattoo. I was like, what? Oh my god, me and Aragorn are just meant to be together. I'm just joking, but um, she's cool. Um, yeah. I'm, I think it's, she's having her Rihanna moment right now. She's popping out an album left, right, and center. And yes. So, I got one less run without you. I got one less, one less run. Anyway, anyone's just joined. Hey, everyone. I'm John. I am in Riverdale. You know, Riverdale season four. 
I'm so excited about Rich, Archie, Jughead, Betty, Veronica, uh, Pops, love Pops. Ah, oh, what's the other dude called who's always on my case? Hiram, oh, jeez, me and Archie are going to kill him one day, you know? It's clearly the Black Hood, and what's the place called where they all go? The Sisters or whatever it's called, like, that place is mental. Oh, and the, the Gargoyle King. Mm. I'm on a mission to take on the Gargoyle coin. Hey, Gargoyle King, you have enough of your crap in the day. You gotta go or else, or else watch out. I'm gonna show you that inner strength. <laughs> and I'll go all crowdy kid on him. John, watch your Insta live from. Mm. Can you guys all hear me? You guys, can we hear? Can you hear me? Are we good? I stopped watching Riverdale after series one. Are you for real? You need to watch the rest. You are in a great position right now. You can, like, watch nearly two other series. You do that as soon as possible. I'm watching Gotham right now. It's actually coming to an end. I've watched it since 2014. It's on episode, it's on season five, episode, is it on season five? Yeah, it's on season five. But each season has like 20 episodes. So it's like literally might as well be the 10th series. And like, you know, Riverdale only has like five or six episodes. And it's like, oh, we'll come back for another few months. You're just like, oh, you know, left me cling her every time. So um, I might have to start watching the nurse series, but I'm happy because you know Catwoman, I've got an amazing Catwoman jacket. I'm not even joking. I've got the best Catwoman jacket ever. It looks like a thriller jacket slash, oh my God, that's the coolest jacket ever. So, oh my God, my hands, it's so white, it's so smooth. I'm so smooth, like my hands are so smooth. Like it says a lot about me, like everywhere. It's smooth, it's so approachable, you know? Mm, maybe not here, it's not as smooth. Can you smooth? My lips are smooth. Mm, yep, so smooth. Um, I'm sure it's so weird yesterday because I'm, in LA being creative and doing stuff, but I'm not here to socialize and do stuff. I know I went to Premier for Tara because she's our friend and she asked us, but I don't really like, you know, talk to anybody that I normally know in LA and stuff or let them know that I'm here because, you know, I don't mind hanging out, but I'm here to like focus on songs and focus and do what I need to do first. And then maybe, who knows, maybe in a bit, I might say hello and say, how you doing? You know, but right now it's all about the music and doing a live stream early in the morning to say hello to all of you who need me right now the most because you're all, you know, don't worry about the Jed hashtag on Twitter. You're probably like, why are these people so glad? Why are they so stupid? You know? <laughs> oh, God bless them all, seriously. You know what I'm talking about? Like their opinions. Oh my God, it's like, are you for real? We could have been friends and now we never will be friends because you... Oh, anyway. Um, love how focused you are now. Yeah, I am so focused. Uh, what are your plans for the future? Mm. My plans for the future is bring out music, go on tour, bring out music, go on tour, do concerts. That's my plans. That's all I'm required to do. And who knows? Maybe get a cute dog. Like, I was in heaven last night. I had, I think I had four or three. I had definitely three. We were all just these little dogs. Like, I was literally like a pyramid. They were all climbing on me. I had one on my chest. I had one on my, like, they were all so small. They were all up on my chest, you know. And I was just petting them, and they were just like, blow, go, Ooh, and they were just like, oh, so loving. The dogs are so loving. It was like, oh, you little baby. So, so nice. Um, also liking, um, nah. <laughs> love that um, I like those plans I like those plans too um, photo shoots uh, videos, visuals and actually doing what we do because you know it's good that we are what we are some people all everywhere left right and centre in the world are like I'm this I'm that I'm doing this and that and the actual reality is they're just a palm tree you know uh, money messing oh my god you dog photos they melt my heart I don't think you can capture cute moments. You can, but the moments, I don't know, so cute. Like, Tara has the cutest dog. So, so cute. So, so cute. Like, literally. I'm actually doing great today because I didn't have a Starbucks or... I don't normally get Starbucks. I only get, like, 7-Eleven or get coffee and Chevron or different stations because you can make it yourself and you can add it as sweet as you want and you can do whatever you want with it. You know, like, in Starbucks, it's like, it's either a hit and run. You, you ask for this and then you're like, oh, I want this, I want that. And by the time you know it, they put on a million extras. Um, but in there, you can get, like, a refill and, you know, pay nothing. It's like, this is heaven, you know? 
or Slurpee. Slurpees are nice. Uh, what'd you do for the, what would, would you do? Mm, no, I wouldn't. Hey, oh, John, hope you're okay. Thanks, Jay Adams. You're so genuine. Thanks, Sherry. I've got such time for people. Like, I love people. Um, I like that. You know, that's a cool experience when we're, you know, going on tour and we fly somewhere and everyone is on the plane or, you know, they're with us together and we're all just there to jam out and, I don't know, be there for each other. And I think that's an, a really nice thing. And I like that. I like that when you pay venues for, like, a couple of hundred people or a thousand, whatever it is, you know, whatever, or even, like, you know, like, you know cool underground type venues where you can see everyone, you can reach out to everyone, you can, ones at different levels of the bars and stuff, you can see everyone bopping and locking and you can, by the end of it, you know where everyone is at the end of the night and it just feels really nice. Can't wait for Edinburgh. That's going to be good. Because it's St. Patrick's Day, la 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 la. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. I'm John. Uh, Yes, I'm excited for that, but I'm more excited to do full Jedward concerts. Full Jedward concerts. Bring the guitar, bang out the tunes, have a sing-along. That is what I live for. Sing new songs. It's going to be so good. It's going to be so, so good. Like, I can't wait. I can't wait. Just get the microphone and boom. And create the vibes. and So good. I can't wait. Literally, can't wait. Like, it's gonna be such a sing along. It's gonna be such a so good. Like, like I just bop out new songs in the car and play them on the speakers, and it's such a a bop, you know. And then and such a vibe, and to actually like get those songs playing, everyone's fly out flowing, and everyone thinking like, oh my god, people are going like new songs in my jams. Like, you haven't heard jams. You have not heard jams. Tunes are on their way. Bops. Supernatural type shit, really cool. Luminous, who? These new songs, what? What? I mean, some of them are mental. You're gonna lose your shit. You're gonna be like, ah, this is fucking awesome. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Like, there's this girl coming in now, baby blue top. Like, there's a lot of fresh people walking in here right now. There's a, I, think, I think a lot of them are assistants. They're probably like, I'm like their boss, go and get me a caramel macchiato, get me a blah, 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 blah. So, um, oh my god, you're missing the show, it's snow here. Oh no, I'm missing the snow. Can everyone get out and build a snowman? This is just too cold. Like, I think in the world, in some places, it's minus 20. That's mental. It's crazy. What time is it right now? Does someone let me know the time? What time is it right now? I want to know what time it is in, in Ireland. What time is it? Oh my god. Then, like you could do, like, a crowd walkthrough. Yes, a walkthrough. That's what I love about Justin Timberlake's concerts. At the end of the concert... He walks to the crowd, gives everyone a high five, or walks to a certain area, and you're just like, oh my god, you legend, we love you, man. It's 6.52. Okay, so we're good in time. We're good on time. Okay, so when it hits that time, 7.30, get on there and spread the Jedward love. Write Jedward, whatever your opinions are, and we're good. If you want, if you want. Um, it's crazy over here, because you know Burger King, McDonald's, all those places, like the dollar men, you can get really good stuff for a dollar. What do I get? I was inside this morning. I got chicken nuggets. Went crazy in that. Mm, yeah. It's crazy because um, this is my second time doing a live public area Instagram live. And it's okay. I feel like this is a cool area. Besides a cool area, it's cool. They got music, got people around. It's not like you're just sitting in a quiet room. Or, I don't know, because everyone's in a creative space. Everyone's trying to like, you know, be creative and focus on what they're doing. And, if I was there running around with a camera going, blah, 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 like, hey, yo, bro, take that outside. We don't want that here right now. If you're not on the mic and not on the track, then go away. Um, let's do some comments. Are you going to get AirPods? I don't think so. They'll fall, they'll lose. You lose one, then you're just going around one. I think, you know what I do? I get AirPods. I'll have the left one. Eric have the right one. And we'll look like secret men and black agents going around. You are fantastic in Instagram live. Ah, thanks, Belinda. Thanks for all those compliments, left, right, and center. Um, miss you. Miss you, Shauna. Shauna, those Pokemon cards were dope that you gave us. Really nice. I actually got some amazing cards recently. I got the party. I told this guy, I was like, we're, we lived in 
Culver City, and I was like, I went there to get a Pokemon card, and he was like, what? And I was like, yeah, got that Pokemon card. Um, how, oh, how are you? Hey, Izzy, Izzy. Ah, uh, thanks, Lisa. You deserve all the compliments. Mr. Loads, John. Hope to see you soon. Hope to see you as well, Mole. Uh, Demi, I'm watching you while I set my dessert. I need to something to eat. What dessert are you having? I had some amazing vanilla ice cream last night. Like, you know, you know, you know when you got ice cream, you got to break it apart. This is like all together, but it was so smooth, really smooth. Like I don't eat ice cream all the time, but this ice cream was nice ice cream. Like it just it was really, really good. Like some people were like, oh, I'm not going to have ice cream. You know, like I only eat whatever I want to eat at Premier's. It's not like they happen all the time. You're just like, ah, whatever, you know. If I'm with my friends, if I'm at a special event, if I'm going to a concert, I'm like, ah, whatever. I'll, you know, out the window, I'll eat what and drink whatever I want. You know, it doesn't matter. Um, um, Julie, I love ice cream. Which ice cream do we like? There's so many different types. I like, there's so many different ones. Like, I like gelato sometimes. I need to get my ice cream game up. I really am behind. I need to try some new ice creams. I know Ben & Jerry's next level. Mm, sounds great. Always looking. Your guitar skills are amazing. They're okay. They're okay. No, I'm really happy. I love playing guitar. That was a boss. It's gonna be so nice. Sing the songs live. Mm. Uh, having pizza for dinner. Can you send me blueberry morning cereal, please? Okay. Where is that? I probably have to go to the cereal aisle and give it a chance. And if only I had palm trees outside the window. There's palm trees, but you can see them in my glasses. Where am I right now? You can see that I'm using my phone against the window. Yeah. I can't. I can't want. I can't. I can't. I can't want to see you live, yes. You're, you're natural at everything. Thanks, Amy. Thanks, Amy. Thank you as well for having opinions on Twitter and standing up for us and saying all those nice things. I really appreciate that. Um, bring out your own ice cream. Mm. Mm, yummy, yummy, yummy. We had our own chocolate bar, so who knows what's on the horizon. Maybe go to an ice cream bar. I think we did have our own ice cream. We had like our own shake at one stage. A place in LA where they make shakes. I think we had a, like a, a shake there for a brief moment, but I think I don't think it was like a public thing. It was like, "Yo, we're gonna do your own shake, maybe for a day or two. I don't know what, what actually happened, but it was cool. Probably have to go into a laboratory somewhere and actually make it happen correctly. Can you have more pens, please? Oh my God, I don't know what you're gonna say there. I was like, Bleh. I was like, okay, thank you. Uh, what's your favorite place in LA? Uh, I don't know. I, I keep finding new places I like all the time. Like, when did I go recently? Like, I went, I went way out. Like, I went way, way out. Like, way out. Like, cause, yeah, we can go to different areas in LA that are like, oh my God, what, this area, gotta get out of here, this is crazy, you know? And then you go beyond that area and you find like really, really nice areas. You know what I mean? You think it'll get maybe worse or get more, yo, yo, don't be here. Then it gets better and, I don't know, I don't know what the place, what was it called? Um, like, I saw CVS, that was an old theater. And, you know, CVS is more like um, retail looking. This is like a proper old theater and they had renovated it and put, put a CVS right in the middle of it. And I was like, whoa, that's amazing. And um, yeah, I think it's nice because there's some places that are really like homey and really like family orientated. And, and you know, people walking around, they're like coming from school, they're doing this and that, and that's kind of cool. But um, I think my favorite place would have to be everywhere. It's all so cool. There's so many different places to go. Um, how is your, uh, oh, my, oh, there we go, look at that, change the position, um, bring the sun, JG, pocket some up, I know, this guy's still here, look, he's still chilling, can I zoom in, oh, I can, look at that, what, look at that, yes, that's kind of cool, oh, hey, <laughs> ah. Jesus, um, Molly, uh, La Plante Lame is it? Oh my god, I think I could. My guest thing working now? No, my whole screen spazzed out. Oh shit, what the fuck happened there? That's Dodge. There's my view right now. The Burger King. Oh my god, that was weird. Choo choo choo. Mm. They do love me. They do. They. Like, even love JG walking in me like, hey girl, how you doing? Get some camera at the time. Um, come on. Come on, screen. Don't fail me now. Okay, I can't guess anyone anymore. Nice view. It's a very uh, crossroads view. You've got the petrol station, you've got the different fast food joints. 
that's where I am right now. So who knows? Maybe I'll have some crazy but mofo here in five minutes. Um, so cold in Ireland. Get me a Whopper meal from Burger King. You got it. Um, I'm sure you could go on Burger King and I, I sound like I'm endorsing. The only time I ever think about Burger King is when Pokemon brought out special 24 karat gold Pokeballs that were like amazing and now like everyone wants them. Um, I'm sure you could just type in the location and find some dude or some guy who's there right now. He'll go, yo, get me the Whopper. He'll put it in a freezer. He'll put it in a little ice pack. Post straight to Ireland. Boom. You get yourself a Whopper meal. Get up in the microwave. You are ready to have your Whopper. Because you a Whopper girl. You said to me that we were twins because chicka chicka chew. You said to me that we were twins because we both have a scar. Ah, beside our nose. Do you remember? Of course. I don't remember as if it was yesterday, but I do. I have met people with scars in their nose and I have. Yeah, that's nice. That's sweet. I'm, that's a nice memory to remember. That's what I like. I like um, when we meet our fans. Like every, it's always a unique experience. Like everyone has their own unique thing going on, or it's different, unique approach. You know, when some people meet their fans, all like, it's always just like, thank you so much, thank you so much, oh my god, thank you so much. It's just like, okay, can we get beyond? Thank you so much. You know, like we like getting to know everyone, having opinions, and everyone's different, and everyone has their own vibe. So. I like that mean I'd never do the whole, oh, oh my god, thank you so much, oh my god, it means everything to me, and then it's just like, next, 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 you know, like, you, I don't know how these meet and greets wonder stars are, like, Jesus, like, it's like, hey, oh, thank you, thank you, oh my god, thank you, it's just like, okay, like, alright, do you even care about me, it's like, no, I don't, but, yeah, you know what I'm talking about, I love that I've always been really, ch- I, I would say it's a good, t- I love that we've always been real chill, yes, that's nice. Apparently, I'll, I'll just, wait, what's this mean? Apparently, I'll just be known for giving you... <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Jenny, that's hilarious. I'll be known for giving you piggybacks. It was a classic time, you know, the girl who wanted to give me a piggyback and uh, I was at the Bayfair Hotel. That's so, so funny. Um, <laughs> we should do a 2019 version. I think I'm gonna move location. Oh jeez, look at this. I'm gonna go somewhere new. I'm gonna go over here. Look at this. Look at this. Hey. Oh, so much better. Cha cha cha. So I bet you and Ed are in Castle Bar. Oh wait, what's that? I met you in Castle Bar. Mm, as the girl with the CD for you to sign. Whoa, I really remember that. That was. Mm, I'm at social club now. You guess me as I am still watching you at the social club, girl. Check you out, making friends left, right, and center. Um, I love you. I love Christmas. Christmas filter. I know. I love that after Christmas. Some people just keep the Christmas stuff open. They keep the filters open. It's just like, thank you. For the people that just want to, you know, hold on to Christmas because then you got to wait a whole year. The year flies in. Like, I can't believe it's going to be St. Patrick's Day again or it's going to be Valentine's Day. Or the Super Bowl, or the Grammys, the Oscars. It's just like, here we go again. Guess who's back? Let's do it in LA. Love a grip. Mm. I don't know. Mm. The folks in that music. I discharged myself from hospital to come and see you guys. Yes. Discharged yourself. How does that even work? It's like when I say when discharge sounds like you know you're charging your batteries for your Game Boy or your your batteries that you have to charge the whole time. You're discharging them from the the charging of pack and you're putting them in your Pokemon. And you're like chip 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 chip. Um, I still Christmas bed clothes can nice. Why not keep rocking them? Why not weird? You know when stores fully commit to their Christmasness and then they reduce the crap out of stuff. Like I haven't even been to Target, but Target like lets you do ninety percent off. 95% off like there's Christmas lights you also get Christmas lights that cost like $30 for a dollar like it's literally that mental the sales what's your favorite song from your own mine is Young Love and Hold the World and Go Getter cause I'm a go get 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 go getter love that song um my favorite song I love Young Love I love a song with a good intro like literally Young Love is um I love Get up and dance, go get her. Wow, oh wow. I like the songs that have loads of attitude and like, yo, what's up? I love Hold the World because it's pretty and it's nice. I love Young Love as well. I know I'm saying the same ones as you. Literally pick my favorite ones as well. What ones I like? Um, I love Good Vibes. I like that sound. Just do, do, do. 
it's kind of like Tai Chi and like, you know, the vibes are nice. Um, I love all our new songs. You are going to love our new songs. Um, uh, thank you. Um, all the small things, Ronan Lynch, 2018, just joins. Oh, the... I'm not even being, like, bringing back Blink-182 and Vanilla Ice has to be the best thing we've ever done. I'm just joking. Um, Tom DeLonge is not even in Blink-182 anymore. I miss Tom. He's off looking for aliens and doing his thing. I wonder if I talk about things and people know what I'm talking about, or maybe you're just like, oh, geez, what's John talking about? What's this girl saying? I'm about to eat some tea. What? 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 I'm about to eat tea. Butter chicken curry. Okay, Haley, you have fun with that eating that tea. You don't look like a dog or something licking it. What's gonna, mm, John, you wanna come to my birthday party? Man, that would be amazing, like a dream come true. I don't know. It depends if it's on the same time as we're doing concerts and stuff, so. Mm. It's so weird, I have people all the time messaging me in like DMs and Instagram, they're like, can you come to my dad, blah, 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 to this and that, and it's like, uh, I don't know. And they don't even ask me in that way, they, like, they ask me in a way that it's a blessing or it's, it's the most that like I'm so lucky that they're asking me to their whatever and it's just like okay that's okay I'll let I'll let you bring whatever other lucky guy or girl that you want to bring I don't think I'm even cool enough I'm sorry I didn't know oh, sorry you know anyway that's how they go about it sometimes hmm I love I look like I don't even know what I look like right now like people are like uh who does that guy think he is doing an Instagram live with his hair and his cool glasses? They're like, oh, he's just one of those dudes. I'm not. Like, I literally woke up like this. Like, this is my hair from yesterday with a little bit of a shuffle, shuffle from my bedtime, you know? A couple of little strany bits were hanging out, and I just kind of went whoop, whoop, and then, boom, ready to rock and roll today. Um, please come to Stockholm again. Sweden, come to Drogada. Where is that? Is that Lord of the Rings? Is Russia in your plan on door? Mm. Russia's in my plans for whenever the heck we get to go there. Yeah, I need to research that. I'm going to ask my friend, Alex, who's a dentist in Russia. Say, what's up? I literally wish I woke up like that. Well, like, I 90% woke up like this. Like, I, I had to put on my clothes and all this bits and bobs, which is like under 10%. The glasses, obviously. My eyes underneath here, which are a bit tired but I did have a filter on earlier which is gold so let me go for the gold filter now and see how tired I look here we go oh god oh god hey it's John looking a bit tired how you doing hey it's John anyway um so guys I'm gonna love you and leave you I'm gonna get some to eat I'm gonna get a drink. I am gonna go and be creative. Thanks for always having my back and Edward's back and knowing the truth and knowing me and Edward for all that we are and being such open-minded people and living your life and making time for me and Edward and really, really appreciate it. Like, honestly, I know I'm like saying it to all of you as a collective whole but really, really appreciate it. Like, don't even know. I don't even go, need to go into the depths of how much I appreciate it because you'd be like, John, are you okay? But I really do appreciate it. And I hope you have a lovely night's sleep. And I can't wait to see you all in real life again and give you a big hug and know how you're getting on and make your day a little brighter and you know be in a good atmosphere and a good environment and i hope everyone stays safe and looks after themselves and if you're going through something you hang in there and you keep you know what today's not my day tomorrow can be my day I'm just taking a baby steps whatever you're trying to do if you're stressed out just take a breath and just find something that, that to ease your mind and thank you so much i'm gonna go i'm actually gonna go have a shower I'm gonna go have a shower, I'm gonna get a drink, I'm gonna get some chicken, and then I'm ready to go. So I'll see you all, and I see all your tweets. I see everything. I see everything. Okay, I'll see you. Love these loads. <laughs>